Hi guys! <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Mwah! We would love you to join the Soul Tribe, guys. I really hope my readings have been helpful. So if this reading resonates, hit the bell icon after subscribing and you will get notified when I post new content. Okay, guys, I love you. My personal readings are open. So email me or hit me up on FaceTime. And I'd love to dig into your readings. Okay, guys, Mwah! I love you. Let's tap in, clear off the energies, clear off myself. Remember, these are timeless, general and collective readings. So they may or may not resonate from start to finish. I have no idea what's going to come out. So please don't shoot the messenger. Grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable. Grand rising. Mwah! Happy week, right? Starting of the week. So if you're watching me right now, remember past, present, future, timeless. But if you're watching right now, happy Monday. Cheers, guys. I'm Tasha and I'm going to spill the tea straight. No chaser. Mmm. No sugar coating bullshit. It is what it is. You wear your feelings on your sleeve. I suggest you click off, okay? I'm not the reader for everybody because I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear, okay, guys? Ancestors, let's get this reading going. Now you have suspicion, illness, bottom of the deck is forbidden. Let's see what's going on here, guys. Now, suspicious came out yesterday. <sighs> and it is. It's, it's the... Um, Invasion of the body snatchers. Somebody, invasion of the body snatchers. Somebody is trying to trap you or take something from you or even be you. Take it as it resonates. It says, don't be trapped by old concepts. Somebody is trapped by old concepts. And you see them as suspicious because they are highly suspect, all right? In the top, in the upright, it says, keep a weary eye on how things are evolving. So a lot of people are watching how things are evolving. And whoever has been trying to, you know, be this invasion of the body snatcher, you know, this alien and try to, you know, they didn't realize that you too are an alien, but you're authentic alien. So you are who you are and there's nobody who can duplicate you. Illness. Now somebody's ill. Wow. Somebody's ill because of what they tried to do to you. Now people are looking at them like very highly suspect because now they know why they're sick. And it has something to do with something they did with you. Something was forbidden, but it's in reverse, guys. It's like people don't look at you forbidden anymore. Illness is Congo. Somebody raged the fuck out. It says, who let the monsters out of the closet? <sighs> Somebody did something that they should not have done. And now they're paying the consequences for that. In the upright, it says, prioritize your own needs. In difficult times, somebody needs to prioritize themselves instead of, you know, I don't know, some kind of external energy. A lot of people, I'm talking about myself as well, we need to focus on ourselves. Never mind the external energy because there's a lot of people trying to doppelgang, steal something that's yours, be in this um, invasion of the body snatchers. Hold on one second, okay? I wanted to go get this download that I wrote down, okay? It says, you are protected from all evil, all by yourself. And that's what's got people fucked up. It says, you're out of this world. You're not of this world. You just live in it. And everything in this world works for you. That's the download that I got, guys. Forbidden in reverse, okay? So somebody needs to prioritize their life. This is what you did. Even when you seen people were very highly suspect and trying to, you know, invade your privacy your life your who you are your essence they can't they can't do that forbidden something was forbidden and now people are seeing forbidden in the reverse says test the limits somebody's seeing that they tested the fucking limits with you they called upon Candyman, upon you, upon the ancestors to do something to cause you illness so they can take something from you. Oh, but as you so, so shall you reap was what yesterday's reading said, right? You are protected beyond measure. Somebody wanted to test the limits. They tested you. Now they can't come back to you. It is what it is. You're out of this world. You're from another dimension, another world. You're very out of this world. And somebody sees that about you. So they wanted to invade 
your space to take something from you and cause you an illness or laugh at you and say you were ill, but, but copy you. And that's what was forbidden. Now somebody is reaping the consequences because they tested the limits with the ancestors and with your kind heart. Bottom of the deck, it says take a breather. Now you're choosing to take a breather. You're stepping back from this illusion because that's exactly what it is. It's just a fucking illusion. Somebody wanted to portray you as something. Clearly you are not. And they're upset. Wow. Because you took inspired action. It could be a Leo or a Virgo. You could be these signs. Take it as it resonates, guys. But you have the confidence to succeed. Confidence is key to success and take an inspired action. You took a deep breath. You let go of these very, very suspicious people in your life. And you took time for yourself, which was very hard because, you know, it's hard to surrender to the divine. But as soon as you did, the energy did gain momentum. And this is what's allowing you to have this confidence to go forward because you know that you are part of this world because you live in it, but you're not from this world, okay? So let's clarify this with some tea messages. Ancestors, what about the suspicious? Cheers, guys. Hmm. It took a lot for you to take a breath, walk away from maybe even a cancer. What's in there? What's this? This is keep your heart open, Libra. Something's coming to balance out. It's telling you to keep your heart open. You had to take a breath. Had to walk away from a situation that wasn't serving you. And you had to have the confidence to know that success lies within you. So you took inspired action. And you knew that whatever people were doing in the background, they were going to have to pay the consequences for this. You are not sick. Not in the mind. Not in the body. Not in the soul. And whoever's trying to take something from you, they're only taking something like... If they're trying to be you, they're trying to be the old you because they don't know who you are now. And they always knew you were forbidden, but they still wanted to test the waters. Now, these suspicious people are having a light bulb moment. Either you had a light bulb moment about these people or they're having a, a understanding, a sudden realization. A lot of people are feeling inspired to do something different with their life because you have insightful awareness and you have helped others. This is why never underestimate the power of planting a seed, guys. People may have wanted to be you, but they can't be you. Now they're getting put on blast. It says, outing personal information, being called out in public humiliation. Somebody tried to publicly humiliate you, like I said, try to make you look crazy, right? But there's a lot of people with a light bulb moment that, oh, wait, they're the ones who are sick. Oh, wait, they're the ones who aren't really up to par. So it must be the opposite, right? Remember yesterday, it's that Newton's law, right? Cloud nine. After you put somebody on blast, like you told the truth, you spilt the tea as it wants to come out. When you spilled the tea, you found that emotional fulfillment. Your expectations are being met in the astral realm because you don't ask for much and you bank all your good deeds and you never wanted anything bad to happen to others. And whoever wanted illness to happen to you while well, they're going through illness, this is the tea, the gossip, spreading rumors, drama. That's what people try to do in order to get you sick. But we are responsible for ourselves, especially our healing. We can't control what people say or do to us, but we can control our actions. And with discipline, you have really turned the script. It's like you flip the fucking table right over. Look, somebody's about to spill the beans. They're raging out. Revealing secrets. Cats out of the bag. There's a lot of untrustworthy people. And you've seen these very untrustworthy people trying to come up against you. But you surrender to the divine. Your energy is gaining momentum at a light speed. Like really fast, guys. And everybody knows about the gossip. The spreading of the rumors and the drama. And you don't deal with drama. That's why you look so fucking good. Because you're not dealing with tiptoeing kind of energy. There was a lot of people acting very shady, sneaking around and avoiding getting caught. But you get what you put out. It is what it is. Someone wanted to rage out, wanted to make you look like the bad guy. <laughs> well, that's fine. We're, we're villains in somebody's story at the end of the day. And we have to understand that and take accountability responsibility for that. But you're not tiptoeing around anybody or anything because you don't have anything to hide.
inevitably not being sick. But these imposters are. I don't make it up, guys. I don't. So please like, comment, subscribe. We would love you to join the Soul Tribe because Tasha be spilling the tea on a daily. 10.10 10 on my clock. It's divine timing that these imposters, these frauds, these people who stole your motherfucking identity get caught. Somebody was faking it till they made it. And guess what? They never fucking made it. And they want to test the limits with you, with spirit, with source. Somebody knew you were very protected and you were very fucking forbidden. But guess what? They still wanted to laugh in your face, play in your face, act like you weren't shit. Well, mm -hmm. They tested the limits and well, hands off. Somebody is very, see, I don't get this, but somebody, I'm personally, I don't understand this, but somebody is very protective of you. But the thing is, is that they're with somebody else. It's like, they don't want nobody to hurt you or be with you, but they see that there was some kind of territorial lover that's stalking you, scaring off any kind of competition. This was forbidden to do this. And somebody did it anyways. They tested the limits. Somebody did not want you to have a relationship because they are so territorial. You may have this maybe a, a ex-baby mama, baby daddy. You know, it's somebody. It could even be a fucking weird-ass parent who doesn't want to see you happy. Take it as it resonates, guys. But somebody had some weird, kinky-ass fucking ways. And they got attracted to some kind of sexually open relationship. And they looked to explore their fantasies. And, well, let's just say they got finessed. And they knew what they were doing was fucking forbidden. But for some reason... They thought that this person was you, and now they're seeing that it's an imposter. Now, this doesn't have to be a sexual relationship, but it does seem so. Yeah, look, back, backtracking. Somebody wants to backtrack. They feel really fucking guilty and really stupid because whatever they chose, it wasn't. It was a fantasy. It wasn't real. They were trying to, I don't know, get their kinks met somewhere. And they knew it was forbidden to go up against you with this person. And now they're trying to back, backtrack their regression. Their re they want to regress. They want to take back all the words they said and everything and revisit the past and coming back on, uh, going back on something. Everything they did, they want to go back on it, but it's like it's, it's too late. They already tested the limits. They wanted to see if you were who you really were and you are who you are. Now they can't come back. They can't backtrack. Wow, and somebody wants to fight with you. And I think it's this third party. There wasn't a disagreement. Somebody knows that that love that they were in was a forbidden love. Now that third party is really hands-on, really clingy. Could Like I said, I don't know if it's a parent, an ex, baby mama, baby daddy, a current person. Take it as it resonates. Whoever it is, they're an imposter. And they're trying to hide some kind of truth, but the, the, the tea is being spilled. The beans are being spilled. The tea is there. Gossip, rumors, everything is being seen. And there is some kind of hostility and animosity and a lot of conflict and fighting in that situation because that's karma. They want to test the waters. Somebody blindfolded somebody. Imposter. Body, uh, invasion of the body snatchers. And then pretended like they were you. And then called you down and said you weren't shit. Only to find out that everything... It was all frenemies. They were all frenemies, guys. Fuck, I don't make it up. These are all frenemies. Fake friends, two-faced, hidden intentions. I'm telling you, somebody had a hidden intention that was only because of money. Superficiality. They, too, were, you know, fulfilling some kind of kink. Wow, laid up. Someone's not laying up with this person anymore. And you're not laying up with anybody who has third parties or anything like this. You surrendered. You know the energy is gaining momentum, so you took inspired action towards yourself, giving yourself the confidence to succeed, to take a breath, understanding that whatever happened in the past, it was a learning lesson. This person clearly wasn't for you because they chose somebody over you. It is what it is. I'm not going to fucking beat around the bush or sugarcoat it, guys. And these people were fake friends, fake lovers, fake family members, and you're not laying up with them. And these people are mad because they want to spin the block on you, but they made the choice. These people knew 
that if they did this, they backstabbed you in some kind of way that you would never talk to them again. But somebody wanted to test the limits and now, well, they're feeling some kind of way because they're seeing that you will never associate themselves with them again. It's like you're saying, show me you love me without words. And these people don't know how to show you they love you without words. Their actions are saying exactly what they feel. So you're taking a breath and you're understanding that you're protected all by yourself from any kind of evil, distortion, envy. And you're just, you're walking away from these fucking imposters who are pretending that like they're tiptoeing around shit. They ate. You spilled the tea. You know what the fuck's going on. And you know how to protect yourself. You are not of this world you just live in it okay guys so remember that everything in this world will work out for you and somebody's mad at that because you're an emperor you're a boss CEO independent contractor of your own life there could be an emperor coming in who wants to speak with you they want to talk about this gossiping these rumors that were spread and they want to tell you who the imposter is somebody really tried to pretend to be you it's weird. Five of Wands. See, they just wanted this emperor to fight, to be dragged into their conflict so that this way they won't choose you. <laughs> but this person is not cuddling up with this third party or anybody, friends, family, acquaintances. They're not being kiki ha ha with nobody anymore because somebody is seeing that's all fucking frenemies. Oh, oh, justice. I don't make it up, guys. Balancing up the scales. Somebody wants to come in and give justice. Fairness, equality, equal reciprocity. There is a message coming in, eight of wands, and that message is coming in fast. Now, it could be a dream. It could be a download. It could be a message. It could be a fucking email. It could be uh, in the fucking mail. Do you see what I mean? But where there's a will, there's a way. Somebody is about to send you a message because they're really strong. Empress, right underneath that emperor. Do you fucking see this? Are you seeing this? And I know you can hear me because my volume is all the way up and I got my mic. So... This emperor is overwhelmed by these people that were in their life who have tried to steal their life. I'm telling you, somebody chose something and their whole life is falling apart. There's a lot of conflict, a lot of fighting, a lot of hostility, a lot of disagreements, all because something was forbidden, but they still fucking did it. They wanted to test the waters. They wanted to test you, play in your face. Now they ain't got you. And look at this shit. Of course, that's heartbreaking. That's a tower. I'm telling you, a tower for anybody who wanted to drag you into their conflicts. Because now this emperor knows exactly who you are and who these people are. Justice. Five of discs. And there was a lot of people who tried to keep you out of some kind of foundation. They wanted you to stay in poverty is what it comes down to. They wanted the empress to be in poverty. But I'm feeling it's the emperor who's in poverty now. Or feeling left out of the kingdom. That's justice, though. Seven of Wands. If somebody wants to send a message in, they can. But they're going to have to protect you. Show me you love me without words. Somebody knows your love language. They're going to come in. Seven of Wands. But you're protected beyond measure. So if somebody comes in with ill intentions, well, look what the fuck they're going to get themselves into. And somebody is completely fucking aware of the consequences of fucking you over. See? Because the universe is in reverse. That's bad karma. So if somebody wants to come in, sure, you will hear them out. But you have personal choice. Free will. Let's clarify this, guys. Okay, let's see what this is. This is waiting for a better opportunity. You took a breath. You were waiting for a better opportunity, okay? Because somebody tested you too fucking far. Now the universe is in reverse. They feel like there's an incompletion, a lack somewhere. And it's this emperor. And you too. I'm not going to lie. As the empress, you feel like there's a lack because the tower. Now, there's two people falling, Okay. So there's two external energies that were big, big, big triggers within you and this person's relationship. I'm feeling there's a divine partnership coming in or you had a divine partnership, but there was a lot of fighting and it was because of the external energy inevitably bringing a tower. Now the tower has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 
There's ten white and ten black. Now, there's an ending on both sides, on the light and on the dark, in order to bring something into fruition. Because somebody built built the foundation with you, but then went go give it to somebody else, whatever they were supposed to give to you. So that is being torn the fuck down. That's justice. These people are in poverty while you're sitting here single self-sufficient and I think you're very balanced masculine and feminine so you're not going to get taken advantage again that's why you're not laying up with nobody because you're perfectly okay with being by yourself but this emperor is coming in with the page of cups they want to apologize ancestors what do they want to apologize for let's get this card this deck what do they want to apologize for ancestors What's this emperor want to apologize for in the moon? They want to apologize for putting things in the dark. I had a rough childhood. So it's I'm easily it so I easily start thinking worst case scenarios. I know most are illusions, but they feel so real. So this emperor wants to come in to apologize for putting so much in the dark and listening to the illusions, believing the illusions. They felt real. He thought, she thought they were real. But it had to stem from the childhood. Somebody used their childhood wounds against them and against you as well. Empress, let's see what's going on here. Wow. The hermit. You're the hermit or hermitist. Take it as it resonates, okay? And you're going inwards. Let's see what you need to say. You went into hermit mode. You may have, this emperor may ghosted you. Maybe you ghosted a lot of people. Because this person had too many childhood issues that you could not heal them like what the fuck this person's bleeding all over you so the empress is the knight of pentacles you're single self-sufficient independent you went inwards i admire you and you inspire me to simply stop and enjoy the fruits of my labor to appreciate the amazing life uh the amazing gifts of life this is what you did for that emperor you help them see the amazing gifts that life have to offer because you are a gift to life Now, there could have been a Queen of Wands, Leo Aries Sag. There could have been a Jezebel in some kind of way, shape, or form that caused a lot of ruckus. Let's see what this Five of Wands is. Ancestors. Yeah, it's the Queen of Cups in reverse. So it could have two, 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 two on my clock, guys. This is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, male or female. This is an emotionally unstable person. So they do make up things in their mind, and then they get people to believe them. And somebody really believed them. It could have even been a mother. I said that, right? Now there's a tower. Let's see what this mother has to say. Ancestors, what's this mother doing or this queen of cups, this friend or something that had a lot to say? It's the ten of wands. This person is burdened now because it says, I tend to take on more tasks than I can handle so I can distract myself from my feelings until I fall into exhaustion or illness. Didn't I say that somebody is ill because they're so fucking exhausted because they're coming up against you and this emperor and they're never going to win. They're a fucking imposter and they're trying to tiptoe around the truth, but all their tea is being spilt. Tower, major tower for somebody right now. And they're feeling burdened because their lineage is going to shit four of swords and they're watching you on social media. These two people definitely are. Now, their world is falling apart. It's all going in flames and you're resting, recuperating. You felt that pain and you stood on, stood on that truth. That's what's causing the tower. You took a breath. You knew that your confidence was going to be key to success. And that's what people were trying to put down, your confidence. But you said, not today, not today. And somebody is saying not today either. Eight of wands. And they're coming in with a fucking message. Somebody healed. It says, I am less resilient to your, I am less resistant to your love. And I feel pushed to take action and follow my heart without any hesitation. Somebody felt that love. Somebody felt that pain first. Ten of cups. So they want to bring in justice. Somebody wants to spend the rest of their life with you. This is love. This is happiness. This is forever. And nothing will be able to tear you apart. But look, this guy looks like he's got some rags, you know, so somebody may be going from rags to riches because of the environment that they were in. They put them in their rags, you know, that five of pentacles. And it could be you as well, guys. But what's it got to say? Justice is the king of pentacles. Somebody wants to take care of you. They went from nothing to something, but all it took or you went from nothing to something. All it took was you taking a breath. And it's inspiring yourself to take action and let go of these imposters, these fucking frenemies. It says, I am, I am practical and a very good investor. If there is anything you need in material world, you can count on me. 
Somebody wants you to count on them. Somebody needs you to, to need them. Okay? Five of Pentacles, they know that you have been left out. They know that you have may even been provished in some kind of way, shape, or form, or they were, but you're not anymore. Chariot. Wow. Somebody's coming fast. Balance, masculine and feminine, to get you out of something. Or it's like the ancestors are coming, ringing the bell to get you out of a situation with an emperor in reverse. Some kind of really greedy boss or a, the, a lover that said that they loved you, but they really didn't. Ten of Cups. Somebody loves you, and this is King of Pentacles. Doesn't have to be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's just somebody who is very reliable. You can rely on them. And they won't, They adore you. Okay, it says, the love between us is overflowing and we can use it to build a family, to help others or to save the planet. I love you. So that message is coming in. And these imposters are really upset because they did. They tried to fucking get in your skin to be you, but they can't be you. Even That cut off, but I don't know when it cut off, okay? So I'm just going to keep continue. So there, somebody's scared that there's an incompletion, and they're scared that if they come in, that you're going to cut them off, you're going to say something to the, uh, they're going to say something to you, and, and you're going to cut them off. But there's a brand new message. You're starting all back over again. Somebody needs to protect you because you're the star, and and the message is that somebody got a message from their ancestors that they have to come in and guide you um, to calmer waters. Or they have to guide themselves to calmer waters. Like they cannot come in trying to stir the pot and be mean and aggressive. No, somebody really wants to take care of you, needs to take care of you. Emotionally, mentally, physically, financially, or you're going to walk away from them. Hierophant. And that's the truth. I have a lot of respect for elders and I follow their advice without question. I also follow traditions. If even if it's outdated, somebody wants to start back over again, reprogram their mind from this distorted energy of this family, this corporation, this group, or these exes. Because you're waiting for a better opportunity. And somebody, if they keep waiting for a better opportunity to come to approach you, they're gonna miss their opportunity altogether. Because look, the wheel of fortune is there. The world is in reverse. Whatever incompletion, it can the cycle can change, things turn. 
Nothing is for nothing, guys. It says I'm starting to see that my actions have consequences and I'm giving up blaming others. I surrender to the will of God and I let it be. Yo, that's what's going on. Somebody just needs to let it be and wait for their opportunity, not clout chase. Because hard to tell good from bad. Because it is. It's hard to tell good from bad. It's just like salt and sugar, guys. It looks the fucking same, but it's totally not. And too much of anything is not a good thing, okay? So let's get the closing message. I hope this resonates. I hope this gave you some clarity. I'm sorry for my volume. Let's try this again after, but let's get a closing message. Closing message is number 25. And number 25 reduced down to a 7. I told you. You are protected from all evil. Any evil that is being sent towards you or your divine partner. It will be ricocheted back because number 25 is the Duke's Bride. Bells will be ringing on Christmas Day. I don't know. Somebody may be getting married on Christmas. Fuck, I don't know. But anyways, endings and beginnings. Skulls traditionally represent death and endings. This does not necessarily refer to a physical death, but the time of closure. Pulling this card sends a message asking you to think about what you no longer need in your life. Maybe it's a person or a situation that no longer serves you. There is a strong indication that unless you are able to free yourself from the ties that bind, you will not be able to move forward without obstacles. Your heart is open and you recognize that things must change. It may feel like a decision you have to make is fought with difficulties. But now is the time to face problems head on in order to begin a new phase in your life. Negative situations will only hold you back. Endings and beginnings are a natural flow in life. The sooner you take control and change your path, things will improve dramatically. I love you guys. I hope this helped. Somebody is realizing whoever's sick in the mind and the body and the soul are the ones who have been, you know, trying to do you dirty. Your energy is gaining momentum. You're surrendering to the divine. Your divine partner is surrendering to divine. Letting go of these childhood issues. And, and everything is working out, guys. Remember, you're not of this world. You just live in it. And everything in this world works out for you. So, it's time to manifest. And it's time to go deeper. Okay? Scorpio is the death. It's time to have the major transformation. I love you guys. Stay blessed, one love. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. As I said, here, let's pull some juice, okay? So look, you're dolo solo. You're doing it good because you have pure love. And you're powerful all by yourself. Taurus, check your birth chart because you're the empress. Wow, no. There's a Taurus in reverse. Mother figure, friend, family, acquaintances. Somebody is really, really upset with your power, your authenticity. They're negligent. They're infertile. They're they're very disharmony, overbearing, like I said, and they're trying to control your the way you look because you're a seer. This this person's getting major karma for trying to gaslight you, and like I said, you're manifesting at a at a, at a rapid pace. Didn't I say that? And that's why this emperor is pissed the fuck off because you're the real deal, holy field, and the wheel of fortune is in the reverse for them. There's a lot of delays because they tried to delay you. Like